Crouching Bootleg Theater. <laughs> Ticks, the best in midnight movie madness at its worst. Ticks bites into that sweet spot. A virtually perfect blend of ignorant, trash, gore, self-awareness and audacity, and it even manages to sprinkle in some surprise. Somehow it manages to fully commit to its ridiculous concept by believing its own bullshit. Story? <laughs> when a group of therapy kids leave LA for a wilderness retreat, they encounter giant ticks affected by toxic chemicals used to grow weed. We. What is so inspiring about bugs and insects and snakes and creatures of the night making all that racket? What's wrong with you? Why are you sweating? Can we can we go back now? There's something on your back. What is it? Oh, God, get it off now! It ain't even worth going into more detail than that because there's only so much ignorant I can unpack. First of all, giant ticks the size of my hand will be the least thing sucking at your suspension of disbelief. Not even comic book grade chemicals creating super weak. No, they got the nerve, the nerve to have Carlton in here. Yeah, that Carlton, playing a thug life, West Coast gangster. We're gonna play a game, Holmes. Here's the deal. You sing a gimme, you live. You brick, you don't. See, they call me panic, cause I never do. You're not gonna kill me. Or maybe I just have my dog rip your leg off. Shoot the ball, man. I ain't got all day. I'm a busy man. <coughs> Most of the therapy kids are a forgettable breakfast club sample. Copy paste, Molly Ringwald. Copy paste, Emilio Estevez. Copy paste, Ali Sheedy. And then Tix throws in the counselor's aggro daughter. Contrast against Panic the Studio Gangster is Seth Green, who despite struggling with abandonment issues, Pops just drops him off in downtown LA alone because you know, it'll be fine. <sighs> Turns out the camp is near some creeps that are out experimenting and growing a special blend and it ain't no Reggie. <coughs> well, if it isn't a happy campers, keeping yourselves out of trouble, I hope. Charles Danson. Oh, you can call me sir. I, and this is my associate, Jerry. We just stopped by to offer a friendly word of advice. Well, since they closed down the logging mill, some of the locals have taken to, well, illicit means of getting by. Beware of the cash croppers. Cash croppers? Dope growers. <laughs> what, uh, <clears throat> what kind of dope? Turns out the creeps are working with Clint Howard, whose secret chemicals don't just make super weed, but super ticks. <laughs> and from there on out, ticks is as gritty, greasy, gory, and as gross as you could desire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm in! <laughs>
Sounds like home. Eventually, the movie sort of splits into two. Seth Green's story <laughs> and Carlton's story. See? I figured it'd be me who would get in a drive-by shooting, but my dog, my fucking dog would be okay. And let's just be honest, they're the only two characters that matter in the least. Now, if the insanity didn't eventually go to 11, the story split could have ruined the movie, but the finale gets so extra, constantly trying to one-up itself. For example, Panic Story lets us know that the hood and hillbillies don't mix. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? California's finest. <laughs> Must be held at home. As if that wasn't enough, he takes a Ziploc baggie full of stolen steroids for pain relief. Seth Green's story, on the other end, is about finding the courage to save the day by teleporting. What? How, Sway? How? Final verdict. Hands down, ticks is the right amount of wrong. I mean, ticks fucks all kinds of up in the best way possible. The cast is subpar royalty. The plot is clashy trash. The rubbery effects are bloody impressive nonsense. And the concept is fully absurd. The movie knows it, but somehow feels as if it's convinced you it doesn't. Ticks, premium rubbish. Upscale garbage. I'm talking top tier trash. My highest recommendation, pun intended, for a so bad, it's good movie review. And that's it. That is my review of the Trashter piece, Ticks. Thank you so much for watching. The channel is Phil For Real. The show is Bootleg Theater. And I hope to see you next time for another So Bad It's Good or Hidden Gem Halloween movie review. Oh! Another